Now that Tim has talked about mutating PSPs, let's take a look at how mutating PSPs can affect your applications and how you should take special care when moving from PSP to PSA when you have mutating PSPs. So we have the same pod security policy that we used in the last demo. Um, it prevents previous pods, but it also has some other rules. Um, I'm curious, maybe the audience knows, uh, which of these fields do you think are currently mutating and which of these can be mutating? So the answer is uh, the FS group must run as is mutating and the run as user must run as is mutating. These rules, SE Linux and supp supplemental groups can be mutating, but when the, the rule is set as run as an, any, they are not mutating. So as you can see, it gets quite complicated to know which fields are actually mutating. And also run as user can be mutating, will be mutating only if it's not set in the security context yet. If it's already set in the deployment itself, it wouldn't be mutating. So that's why a PSP policy doesn't is not necessarily mutating if it has mutating fields. So let's take a look at uh, the same. We're going to use the same nginx application. Um, there's two things I want you to pay to to pay attention to is it has a volume mount and it has a config map where it mounts it uh, the index HTML um, and it sets the default mode to be 0600, which means only the user can read this. We're going to apply this and then what we should see is we should see, um, oh yeah, let's take a look. So this is very simplistic. It has a um, welcome to KubeCon index HTML that should serve. So we, we take a look at what's happening currently. We deploy this deployment. What's happening to the actual pod that is running right now? Let's take a look at the, the container spec of that pod. So we can see the container spec is actually has security context run as user set to, to 2005, which is what we defined in the pod security uh, policy. So it looks like it is mutating. And then when we take a look at the security context of the pod itself, then we'll see that FS group is set to 1005. So something is adding that and PSP is doing that. And let's take a look at whether the application works right now or not. So we see that the application is currently running. It serves welcome to KubeCon 2022. Um, I'm doing a simple port forward to be able to access the application from localhost. Um, now let's try to enable PSA and disable PSP. We're going to do the same flow. We're going to add a label to enforce baseline. Then we're going to apply the previous PSP profile. And then we're going to create a cluster role that allows us to use that, that privileged pod security PSP. And then we assign that, uh, that role to all the ser service accounts in the default namespace. So PSP has been disabled. Now let's try to redeploy. Let's try to deploy a new version of this application. We're going to do a rollout restart, which will recreate the pods. And let's see if the application still works or not. What do you think? Should it still work? It should be, right? It's, it's a pretty small change, just change from PSP to PSA. But no, what happens is we get a 403 forbidden. Let's take a look at why that's happening. We redeploy the application. So let's take a look at what the running pods look like right now. And after we redeploy it, we see there's no more security context. In the, out, in the container spec. So before we had security context run as user 1005, that's gone. Um, in addition, when we look at the pod security context, we'll see it's no longer setting that FS group. So what's happening is our application relied on the pod setting the FS group so we can read that index HTML file and it also relied on setting the run as user but now that we moved away from PSP to baseline, the P baseline is not going to modify your pod specs. So how do we fix that? The way to fix it is we apply the security context to the deployment ourselves. So instead of 
relying on PSP, now we add these two additions is all that's needed. So the PSP is no longer mutating because the deployment already contains the security context that we need. Um, let's apply it and let's take a look if that works or not. Let's wait a moment for the pod to restart. We apply the new uh, change the deployment spec, which will cause pods to be recreated. And then let's forward again and let's refresh. And now we see the application is working again. Welcome to KubeCon 2022. Um, and that showed us why it is important to take extra care for these mutating PSPs. Uh, in the next demo, we'll, you might think, well, that there was a lot of, lot of work. So next demo, we'll show more of how you can automate this process more easily with a, with a tool called PSP Migrator.